First look at the Oxygen OS port from the OnePlus 60 running on a Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video we're gonna have a look at the Oxygen OS port from OnePlus 60 with Oxygen OS version as 9.0.15, Android version as 9 which is Android 9.0 Pi, running on your Xiaomi Poco F1. How do you install this port on your Poco F1? I have a separate video for that which is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. Now if you click on this recents, this is the type of recents you get and we'll now go into settings there isn't much to talk about in wi-fi and internet however when you install this rom for the first time and if you get a message that unable to save wi-fi network all you need to do is keep trying i tried six or seven times and eventually it worked for me initially there were some issues connecting to the wi-fi network but once it connected i haven't faced any other issues next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you turn off certain optimizations so you get your notifications. For that, you need to go into settings, then we will go into battery. Once we are in battery, we need to click on battery optimization and then you need to click on the three dot menu on the top right and then click on advanced optimization and make sure these two options are turned off. Deep optimization and sleep standby optimization. If these two options are turned off, then you shouldn't have any issues with getting notifications on this port running on your Xiaomi Poco F1. Nothing much to talk about in Bluetooth and device connection. Next, we'll go into display and you have adaptive brightness which is working absolutely fine. Then you have the option of choosing after how many minutes or seconds you want your display to go to sleep. Then you have night mode, this works absolutely fine as well. Turn on night mode was enabled, I just turned it off and if I enable it again, you can see that night mode is working absolutely fine then we have the option of reading mode this mode also works absolutely fine along with all the options you have like block peak notifications and you can also add apps to this reading mode where and when you open that specific application reading mode will be turned on automatically next option we have is of screen calibration you can choose between default srgb dcip3 adaptive mode and custom color all these options are working absolutely fine you can see with custom color if i move the slider around the photograph of the little boy changes its color so these options are working absolutely fine as well next up we have notch display in case you want to hide the notch that option works and we will still be using the notch area to display our status bar icons and notifications next option we have in display is ambient display wherein if you enable the option lift up display whenever you pick your phone from a table it will automatically wake up and show you all the notifications let's give it a try over here you don't have to wake it up so harshly but there it is your lift up to display works absolutely fine while we are on the display let's double tap and there it is you can see that double tap to wake is also working absolutely fine next up we have wallpapers you can choose whatever wallpapers you want and you can also toggle between a colorful theme, a light theme and a dark theme. If we select dark, the system UI will restart and then eventually we will have the dark theme. There it is, dark theme in the building. Your quick settings panel is in dark. Your volume panel should also be in dark. There it is. You can also choose a custom accent color. Right now it is blue. Let's try red. Click on OK. Again, the system UI will restart and our accent color is now in red. Next up, we have the option of changing the font. You can choose between Roboto and OnePlus Slate, whichever font you prefer. You can choose either one of those. Then you have the option of status bar. You can choose what kind of battery style you want. You want a battery bar, you want a battery circle, or you want your battery to be hidden. Then you can also enable your battery percentage, which will show up on the top right. If you want to display the network speed or not, time whether you want to show the seconds or not or you want to hide it or you want only hours and minutes all these options work absolutely fine icon manager will let you choose what all icons you want to be shown in your status bar then you have the option of auto rotate screen and also a screen saver all these options work absolutely fine then we have apps and notifications while we are in apps and notifications let me tell you that 
the oneplus camera which is baked into this rom works absolutely fine and you also have camera to api enabled out of the box which means google camera works absolutely fine and if you want to use xiaomi's miui camera you can use anx camera i have linked the apk for google camera and anx camera zip file which you need to flash either in twerp recovery or as a magisk module in the description of this video so you have different camera options to choose from going back into settings and then we'll go into apps and notifications you also have the option of enabling your notifications what you want to see on the lock screen whether you want notification dots or not do not disturb mode all of these work absolutely fine app permissions you can choose what all applications have access to say the camera your contacts your location microphone all those things then you have data usage control you can determine or choose which application has access to your data and which doesn't emergency alerts work absolutely fine going back we have sound nothing much to talk about in sound however if you want to move your poco f1 into vibration mode then you will need to use a third party application which i use it's called ringer modes and once you install the application provided certain access to do not disturb mode it will show up as a quick setting style and if you tap on it it'll change to vibrate tap on it one more time silent tap on it one more time normal so this is a workaround because the poco f1 does not have an alert slider if you want to move your poco f1 into vibration mode you'll have to use this third party application then you have buttons and gestures again alert slider is not there so we won't go into this option navigation bar and gestures you can customize your navigation bar if you want to swap the buttons hide the navigation bar what do you want the action for your long press of home button double tap recents back button double tap long press action all these options work absolutely fine what kind of navigation bar do you want do you want back home and recents you want back and home only or whether you want oneplus's implementation of gestures again all these options are working absolutely fine with no issues to report quick gestures we already checked that double tap to wake works what i am not able to get working is these screen off gestures which i think will not work on the poco f1 however if you find a workaround and you know how to get them to work please leave a comment down below three finger screenshot works absolutely fine bam there it is we just took a screenshot back into buttons and gestures the option for quick turn on camera works absolutely fine however the option to long press the fingerprint scanner to take a photo is not working for me going back nothing much to talk about and battery i already told you what you need to fix in battery optimization and adaptive battery is again enabled and this is something which google added with android 9.0 pi and if there is an application which is using excessive battery in the background adaptive battery will let you know about it so you can decide what you want to do with that application next up we have security and lock screen so fingerprint scanner works absolutely fine your screen lock with the pin works absolutely fine an important thing to note over here is that if you want to use face unlock you do not have to select this face unlock option you need to set your pin and then you will click on smart lock enter your pin once you have entered your pin you'll get an option for trusted face you need to click on this and then you need to set up your face and your face unlock will work using this option again do not use the face unlock option over here click on smart lock and then add a trusted face that is how you need to get face unlock working on this oneplus 60 rom port on your xiaomi poco f1 nothing much to talk about in accounts it's your usual accounts then you have utilities you have gaming mode which works absolutely fine i will try to play pubg on this rom and make a video about it then you have quick launch this is something which will only work on the oneplus 60 because it has an in display fingerprint scanner wherein you long press on that area on the display and you will have the options of launching different applications it won't work on the poco f1 then you have parallel apps which works absolutely fine app logger works absolutely fine pocket mode also works oneplus which i didn't try this i am not sure about oneplus labs so we'll skip that then you have google you can choose all the different options you want for google services and their preferences then you have system nothing much to talk about in system so these are all the options which you get with the oneplus 60 rom 
on your Xiaomi Poco F1. Oh, and before I forget, you also have your screen recorder, which works absolutely fine with no issues to report. So all in all, this is a pretty stable build of Oxygen OS for your Xiaomi Poco F1. As for the benchmark score, this is the benchmark score which I got on this Oxygen OS port from the OnePlus 60 running on a Xiaomi Poco F1. That will do it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you. <laughs>